of the personal trainers at the two Pensacola locations of World Gym. Partnering up with Lindy and Sean Brown, who run a local paddleboard operation at Pensacola Beach. And today we are going to be going over some exercises that will both increase the ability to do that and make it more fun and safe and entertaining for those who have, who have tried and have never tried it before. One of the tools that we'll be using for the stability aspects of paddle boarding will be the BOSU ball. It helps to use stabilizer muscles that you wouldn't normally use with everyday exercises. The first one that we will do will be push-ups with the BOSU ball. Uh, this will mimic getting up on the board after getting out in the water and the stability that it would take to do so. So in a regular push-up position with arms on the side of the posting ball, we're going to keep our back nice and straight and we will do regular push-ups. Usually 10 to 15 repetitions for three or four sets will be enough. Really concentrating on keeping our back straight concentrating on keeping our core tight and concentrating on staying stable on the ball and not shifting too much left or too much right. The next exercise we'll be performing will be mountain climbers with the BOSU ball. Uh, same rules apply that the BOSU ball will add a factor of needing to use stabilizer muscles that would be affiliated with paddle boarding and the movement in the water and up the board uh, while concentrating on both core strength and the ability to have movement inside of the core. So from the same position as the push-up, a standard plank position with the BOSU ball, we're going to alternate legs with mountain climbers, keeping our back straight and our core tight, to bring our knee up and back, up to the other, and back. 10 repetitions with each leg, concentrating on keeping our core tight, concentrating on keeping the stabilization with the ball. The next exercise we'll do with the BOSU ball is going to be a balance and twisting exercise. This is going to closely mimic the movements that you will have on a paddleboard. Uh, so we've set our cable machine up with a long bar attached with a carabiner at one end and we've got our BOSU ball directly underneath. You'll want to set the weight at something that is moderate enough for you to maintain your balance and get used to the motion, but at the same time you do want to tax your obliques and you do want to be taxing those stabilizer muscles. So holding on, we'll carefully step up onto the BOSU ball, get a shorter width wide stance. We'll start with our paddle and we'll do 10 repetitions twisting. We're working on keeping our core tight. We're working on keeping our stabilization on the ball. And we really want to feel those twisting motions in the obliques. So we'll shoot for 10 repetitions on one side. And then we will switch sides and work 10 repetitions on the other. This is a Swiss ball. Uh, just like the BOSU ball, a Swiss ball can be used to add stabilization exercises to ordinary exercises. So what we're going to do with the ball first is basically a plank or an abdominal exercise, but by using the ball we're going to add in a difficulty for oblique stabilizer muscles, hip flexor muscles, glutes, lower back. Uh, we're going to incorporate a lot of other things that are going to be required to keep our stability on the ball. So the Swiss ball rollout can be done with two levels of difficulty. For beginners, start on your knees. You want to rest your elbows on the Swiss ball. And you want to, with tight abdominal muscles, slowly roll out and slowly roll back in. You want to shoot for 10 to 15 repetitions of this, keeping your abdominals very, very tight, your lower back very, very tight. The next level of difficulty would be to completely come up off of your knees to be in an almost push-up position and then roll down. The second will be much more difficult 
So you need to take your time with the first one until you get good control over your lower back and your abdominal muscles and the ability to keep them tight and stable on the ball before trying the second. The second core exercise that we're going to do with the Swiss ball are going to be torso rotations. So you want to sit on the front half of the ball, not directly in the middle, but to give yourself a little room to lean back and keep your legs bent and come back into a normal sit up or crunch position. From here, you want to keep your abdominal core very, very tight, and you just want to rotate side to side. You should be feeling this in the obliques, or the side abdominals, as well as the rectus abdominis in the front. Good repetitions to shoot for will be 10 to each side. So going right one, and left one would be one repetition. The last exercise that we'll be doing today is a static balance exercise. So what you'll do is there'll be two uh, levels of difficulty. Uh, the first is we we'll put one foot in front of the other, arms by the side, and stare at a fixed point in the room or in space. You want to hold this position as best you can without any wobble for 30 seconds. To increase the difficulty, we'll keep our arms by our side and we will close our eyes so that we no longer can find a fixed point in space and try that for 30 seconds. After this, we'll switch feet and do another 30 second repetition or 30 second set. Uh, with either eyes open or eyes closed, depending on your level of comfort. One thing you want to try not to do is to raise your arms up and use them for balance. I know it'll be your natural reaction, but you really want to force your legs, your ankles, your calves, your abdominal muscles, and everything else to do the work of stabilizing.